Well, g'day. I think we'll make this one part B of episode 9. As we've got a lot of, so much grinding to do, what I might do now is try and order a couple of other different grades of silicon carbide wheel, um, a softer bond and um, a larger grit, and just to experiment to see how they go on this material here. And also try and track down a VOS wheel, a very open structure wheel, as a roughing wheel. As um, one chap commented in the, in the video, um, it's quite a good wheel for roughing. You can really hog the material off for grinding. So I'll try and track down some wheels. And as I said, it's a perfect opportunity to really experiment with this tool post grinder on wheel, wheel selection, so there we go. <laughs> um, oh well, enjoy the little bit of grinding to follow and um, cheers. Okay, well this is our array of arbors. So as you can see, last episode we rough ground these areas here down to a thou or two above size. So we're just going to continue with that, these ends here. We'll, they'll get roughed out to a thou or two above size and we'll run the wheel also over these areas there all these parallel sections on everything just to get everything running true with the roughing wheel on and then what we'll do we'll alter the angle of the wheel and then we'll be grinding from the compound and we'll just rough grind in all of the tapered R8 features on them all so after that's all done, then we switch over to our finishing wheel and we'll go through every, every diameter and finish grind everything, tapers, the parallel sections. And then what we'll do then, we'll switch over, we'll have to dress the wheel up because um, some of these uh, items, this is one here for the boring head, we'll be grinding the faces. Same with the, the arbors here for the face mill and the star barber so there's some face grinding to do as well so we'll get set up and get the rest of the plain diameters roughed out and go from there so this one here is the stub mill arbor so this is the one i thought would give me the trouble of any distortion through the uh, heat treatment quench but, um, it's just come out quite well <laughs> So there's virtually there's bugger all in that one, so um, that's good. Okay, is that one done? Okay, we're going to go back to our larger diameter wheel. So we're going to go with this. This is my wheel I use for finish grinding. It's aluminium oxide wheel. Now, even though we've had some good results with this uh, silicon carbide wheel 
as I mentioned in I think the last video, it's is for hard stuff like tungsten carbide. That's where it's best suited for. But I have had good results. But being as it's for the harder materials than what we're grinding, what's happening there? The grains, the grits dulling before the bond is actually releasing the grit. So what happens? You get a like a dull, like a dull milling cutter, same sort of scenario. So this wheel here, this aluminium oxide wheel here, is the wheel we should really be using. Now, this was tending to dull up a bit as well before the particles were releasing. So there's one scenario which you can do to sort of alleviate that because I'm not going to go down the shop now and buy another great, uh, greater wheel because for one, it's Sunday and two, they're probably going to have to order it in from Eastern States anyway. So there's another week. The other way you can sometimes get around it is increase the surface speed of the part that you're grinding. So we can try that. So we'll mount this wheel up, redress the front face and um, carry on grinding. Before we do, we'll just show you a little thing. When you do mount a wheel, what you want to do is hold it on a, well before you mount it, just to test the wheel, hold it on a metal like a screwdriver handle, I've got an Allen key, and just do the ring test. You hear that ring? Now if it doesn't do that, it's not recommended that you use the wheel. Now, I've got another wheel here. Um, okay, this one here, this is a real oldie. This is uh, Sioux City, Iowa. Albert and Son oh, and Company Incorporated. She's a real oldie, this one. She's probably about 50, 60, 50 years old. So. so we're getting a bit of a dull, we're not getting the proper ring. Now, whether that's some has some relation to the shape of the wheel or not but I'd be a bit dubious about using this wheel it's like a has a thud as opposed to that ring no, no ring don't use general rule of thumb okay we've refitted our silicon carbide wheel so this is a medium wheel and uh, so we'll run through them all now and we'll just do this small end here where it fits up into the quill of the uh, bridge port. I had an interesting comment on, on the last video, a chap was saying if I tried a VOS wheel, a very open structure wheel and I haven't tried one of those, um, I'm going to try and track one down because the sounds of it it's, uh, it's a proper wheel for roughing so I'll see if there's one available for for this size um, grinder if I can get a four inch one that would be good but it's probably most of these wheels are specialized wheels and over here in Perth Western Australia they've got to be ordered in generally from the eastern states and that so generally that takes just over a week so but, uh, yeah we'll carry on with what we've got and I will try and track down one of those other wheels I might also get another couple of different grades of these silicon carbide wheels. This is a 60 grit. I'll get I'll get one with a coarser grit as well and um, I'll get one with a um, different bonding as well so it releases the grains a bit a softer, a slightly softer bonding. So anyway let's carry on. So we've got about, we should have about 10 thou I think come off these. Yeah, 11, 11 thou to come off. Okay. We might actually run that a bit quicker. OK, 
Okay, I'll see how we're going for size. Finish is good. Great, great finish. We're 949 to 9496 is where we're heading for here. We are 9497, 9498, 949, yeah, I'd go 9497. So if we um, take another two tenths off, we're well within our range. We are 9494. So we're there. We're above the minimum below the maximum by a couple of tenths so we've hit our target spot on and our finish is good we did um, run our pump off we did increase our surface speed quite a bit and um, it does help with the finish on these smaller diameter parts uh, that's that's a point that is mentioned in grinding, especially tool and cutter grind, uh, sorry, tool post grinding is to run a slow speed. And through past experience, I've found that it deteriorates deteriorates the, the surface finish of what you're getting. And as we mentioned before, if you're having trouble with the your wheel being too hard, increasing the surface speed will actually release the grains and expose more grit. A lot quicker than running at a slower surface speed. That's the theory, anyway. So, anyway, that's the first cab off the rank. So we'll run all the others through now and um, get the small ends done, and then we'll either go for the taper or the probably go for the tapers next because that's another operation where they're all going to be the same, and then we'll tackle the various different ends.